Hey guys, today I wanted to discuss how to use fuzzy logic in Microsoft Access. Reason for this video is that you know I had this problem, I was running into it, and um, I searched all over the internet. I couldn't really find what I needed. I had a basic idea of how to use wildcards and, and and things, but I just ran into something to where I'm like, okay, I, I need to put a video out for this because it's just something that's needed, you know. Uh, first, you just open up your program. I'm using Microsoft Access 2007, and I already created a you know a little small um, database. Now I always enable content. Now, I know I don't have any macros, any modules, or anything set right now, but that's just the basics for me. When I eventually start adding these type of features, it'll work properly. So I already created two Excel spreadsheets, and I'm just going to go ahead and import. Import Excel, import Excel, and I'll use company name list. Okay, just run through the wizard. First row contains headings, and I index. Um, yes, no duplicates. Um, usually, when you index something, it's just easier to uh, do a search, and it makes the database run a lot smoother. Continue running through the database. I just let access choose a primary key. It is a unique identifying key that it just auto assigns. And I will call this customer list one. Finish. Imported successfully. Now I'll go ahead and import my other spreadsheet. Company name list two. And I do the same. Sheet one is where all my information is. First row contains headings. Next, index, no duplicates. Let access to the primary key. And I will call this customer list two. And I'm going here to uh, my query design, where I would see my tables. Pull up both. Now, normally when you first build a database and everything, you know you want to kind of set up relationships between the tables. Um, you can do this by just simply dragging. You can do one to one. So if you put this here, and a relationship is include join fields where both tables are equal and you will get that kind of result but to use fuzzy logic let me just go ahead and delete that there is no relationship here and what you want to do is just type like and this Asterisk stands for like a wild card. And we want to use the ampersand. And I want to use company name two. Since I'm on company name one, I want to say match anything close to that description in company name two. it off by another ampersand and in quotations another asterisk so of course with no relationship you put your fuzzy logic here and you run it and you get the same results without having to set up a relationship now I made it really simplified you know I didn't get into much depth but it's more of just trying to show this is how to do a basic fuzzy logic formula in Microsoft Access. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.